everyone and welcome to another fifth video. In this video we're gonna learn how to make an app and it's called Plan All Notes and um this app is a note taking app. I'm just gonna show you it right here. So if you click the plus button right here, it takes you to this screen where you can create a new note. Let's say I just call this hi and I go back. Here it is. And let's say I go back home. I'm just gonna quit this app and go back if we go back in we still see it's high and we're basically saving on the device and okay, I'm just gonna delete this <clears throat> okay so we're gonna learn how to make this today and so I'm just gonna open up Xcode and create an Xcode project now in iOS under application we're gonna select master detail application not single view application because this is basically a head start of what we're doing, and we're just going to modify it a little. Um, click next, and I'm just going to call this plan all notes. And the language is Swift, and it's going to develop for iPhone. Click next, and I'm just going to save this here. Okay. So once you have this project set up, I'm just going to show you what it looks like for a master detail application. So, like this. See, it says master here. Click plus. Give you this. And to you this screen where it's a label and you can't really modify it. So, I'm going to close this. Whoops. And go. I'm going to go to main.storyboard. And change the master here to plain all notes. And change this to new note. And get rid of this label. Drag on a te text view. And here. Oh. I'm gonna add some constraints and so that would be good. I'm gonna go to detail view controller that's Swift. Change the name to T view and change this to UI text view. Change this to T view. And okay, that's all we need for now. So Let's go to, I'm going to create a new file. So go to the file menu, click a new file. And it's going to be a Swift file. And I'm going to call this note. I'm going to create the file and keep it here. And here in this import statement, I'm going to change this from foundation to UI kit. Because we don't need foundation. Well, we sort of do, but it's already imported for us. So, okay. Next one, I'm going to have a variable called all notes. This is going to be a dictionary of all the notes. And let's see here, note. And equals an empty dictionary. Another variable called current note index. And it's an int, and I'm going to set it currently to negative 1. And next one, I have another variable called note table. And this is a UI table view. That's an optional, and by putting a um, question mark right here. And here I'm going to have let KL, KL notes eat and it's gonna be a string it equals notes okay and here I'm gonna define a class and the name is note and super class is NS object. 
Okay, and then here, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna have two variables with a date, and it's gonna be a string. Next one is gonna be note. It's also gonna be a string. And I'm gonna have an init function. So I'm gonna put init inside here. I'm gonna put date equals equals ns date dot description and um, note will equal for now nothing and here it tells us to put in an override so I'm gonna do that like that and after that this we're gonna have a function it's called dictionary and I'm gonna put it's gonna be return an NS dictionary but and I'm gonna put return in bracket brackets note in quotations colon colon note here it's going to be date in quotation marks and this is going to be date okay next here i'm going to have a class funk it's going to be called save notes and inside here i'm going to put I'm gonna have a variable called a dictionary or a dictionaries and it's gonna be an NS dictionary in brackets and I'm gonna say it's an empty dictionary. I'm gonna have a for statement it next and so I'm gonna have a variable called i and it's an int I'm going to set it to zero semicolon and i is less than all notes dot count semicolon i plus plus and open and close for curly braces and inside here I'm going to have a variable actually a dictionaries dot append and it's gonna be all notes all notes in brackets I and on the outside dot dictionary and okay yeah what is the for statement and here I'm gonna have NS user defaults dot standard user defaults dot set object value is going to be a dictionary for key KL notes like that <coughs> okay so I'm gonna define the next function is going to be another class func it's going to be called load notes okay so this is uh, this video this um app is divided into two parts part one and part two this is the end of part one and in part two we're going to finish up this app by doing some stuff in Master view controller dot swift and detail view controller dot swift. Okay, and well, yeah, we're gonna finish no dot swift with the load notes. Okay, guys, uh, bye bye, and I hope to see you in my part two video.